82 Canadian Nationals uh, Top 16 Finals. Um, I'm Stephen Moss, and with me is Alan Fung. How's it going, guys? And we have an interesting matchup today. So we've got Bryson Ewanchuk versus Cody Martell. Um, Bryson's flying Miranda Dash versus Cody's quad aggressors with lightweight frames. Yeah, and so to give some background, Bryson is the top seed coming out of Swiss at number one, and Cody is number 16. Um, I played against Cody in Swiss, though, so he's, uh, I can tell you for a fact, he's a hell of a player. Um, in fact, he did this exact same opening for me, which is it's pretty solid. I, I feel like it gives him lots of options, and what's interesting here is, again, like, Miranda doesn't have any missiles. Right. So I think that that's probably a bit of a relief for Cody. And at the same time, with all these rocks, Lightweight might actually give the fourth die a few times against Dash. Which sure. Would yeah. Be pretty cool to see. So, it'll yeah, be I mean, an interesting matchup. We're really kind of seeing, let's see how variance works out for these aggressors, right? They get a lot of dice. They're not Y Wings, so they're not really just sinking damage into them. Yeah. Because green dice can really help mitigate a lot of damage if they go on. Yeah. And uh, has the timer started? Has the timer started? So uh, maybe knock two minutes off that timer at the top there, guys. Yeah, so I think we're sitting right around like a minute or an hour 12. Yeah, so we started at 11.30 Eastern time, so um, probably two minutes into the round. Two or three minutes. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, so you can tell here that Bryson's pretty aware that uh, Cody would want to go after Miranda first. Right, especially if Miranda gets caught in a bubble. Um, right. I mean, God forbid she ever get caught in all four bubbles, she would just go down, probably in one salvo. But huge gonna, range control game. Huge range control game. It's going to come down to a lot of barrel rolls, I would think, from Dash Rendar. Yep. To try to isolate one at a time. Um, Cody's flying a really tight formation, so I don't think he's going to give that very easily. And no. uh, he really wants to see, I think, Dash's approach before he commits. I really, really like Cody's opening. Um, he did this to me, and it, again, it just gives him so many options. You can see here, he, he set himself up to shoot into that lane if he needs to. Um, as he used those rocks to his advantage, he's probably hoping, again, for that quad die uh, defense role. Um, which on a five health ship at 25 points. I Pretty mean, amazing. That's incredible, yeah. I mean, that's lightweight frames doing the most you could possibly do. Right. So, yeah, we'll see. So Bryson here is, he's playing it right. He's definitely just banking up the ray. Playing it slow. Yeah, right. he's got to. He has, no, he has no need to rush. Time is on his side. Um, and because this is, Top 16, not until the final rounds do we have a two hour limit. So, Fernando's on the board, and uh, it's a one on one, uh, he wins. Right, exactly. I mean, really, on this type of match, I see Cody pretty much just taking it slow, keeping his formation together for a little bit, at least until they engage, and then maybe spreading out so he doesn't get bombed. Yeah, the bombs will be huge here. If he can get a bombing run in, that would be really big. But at the same time, it's really risky, right? Because if, sure if you do a bombing run, like... You might Cody, sink some damage, but you're going to eat TLTs. If Cody splits for that one round, and like he has a bunch of ships not in uh, range one, yeah, it's going to hurt. So, uh, this will definitely be really interesting. Do you think Cody should still go after Miranda first? It depends on, so I think if I were Cody, I would just keep flying in my formation nice and tight for a little and probably not commit to a target and let Bryson kind of pick who he wants to dangle out front mm -hmm. um, and then kind of commit from there. I don't know if I would chase Miranda, though you do have that nice big bubble, so it depends on if Bryson really turns in with Miranda. If he can catch him turning in, it's going to be tough for Miranda to get away. I'm I'm really curious as to what Miranda's move is going to be here. I, I, I think, I hope that it's a bait that she turned in like this and that she actually hard twos to the left, because if she comes in, I'm pretty sure yeah. those aggressors. Oh, it looks like he's going for dash. Aggressively interesting. He's either going for dash or 
Cody is just setting up to take the middle of the board, which is also the right move. Hey, you said he likes to really pinwheel around the rocks. Oh my god, ships, yeah. Right? Cody made me look like a complete imbecile. Um, I was flying aces, and he just flew around those rocks for days, negating my arc. I mean, Bryson won't have that issue because he has turrets, but it uh, looks like it might be a formation bump here. Yeah, just... Unfortunately, uh, whenever you're flying Swarm, there's always that potential, yep. um, just because of the variability in templates. And he is trying to fly as tight of a formation as possible. Right. And but you can already see it. It's just it's an extremely tight, basically base to base. Yeah. So this is... Uh, not bad. Bryson has Bryson. an interesting choice here, because he does have an unobstructed shot against the lead aggressor, and he only will be shot at by two if he's in range. That's probably the best they can hope for right now. You know, I wonder if Bryson went fast to stop, um, or Cody went fast to stop Bryson from banking so much focus on Ray. Yes, probably. But I was really surprised that Bryson just really didn't slow roll and just bank up a ton. Right. Because uh, he could have gone all the way into that corner and let uh, Cody um, oh, do we navigate have through the rocks. Yeah, it looks like it. I think it. so. This is, a, this is really, really good for Bryson. Yeah. He only has one TLT at range of him. That was excellent range control. He spends a focus for two, rolling three from There's lightweight. There's two, and then lightweight. So he sinks a damage. Sinks a damage. That's good. It's not a good roll from, from Cody, but he's got plenty of haul. Another two. Should probably evade Consistent. this. Consistent. He's got it. Yeah, there it. we go. Ooh, he's, he's going Ooh. for it. He's going and for the four. Dash does have the shot. Oh, he's got the lone wolf, too. This might hurt a bit. Cody's dice have got to save him on this defense roll, but this roll's hot fire. He does have the focus token, uh, uh, which is this useful. Is, this, uh -oh. this is going to be hot fire. He's got lone wolf. That's, and that's hot fire. I think the reroll is a crit. I think the reroll was a crit. Oh, huh. Oh, no. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, I wasn't sure either. Ooh, oh, so there we takes go. He one, takes one. one. That's not bad. That's so huge, right? So, it's I mean, big. obstruction with range three it's with big. frames. He needed so that. Good. He needed that. Oh, did he even? Oh, yeah, he spent it. Okay, yeah. That's not bad. And that's what those that's what the signers do, right? Like, they're incredibly, incredibly hard to kill when they're rolling, you know, average dice. Yep. And if you're rolling, and, and if you have a situation like this where he gets a four dice defense, I mean. I guess an HLC. It's amazing what you can mitigate, right? It like, is. I mean, he's got yeah. the action. It's. Yeah, and and I'm sure Cody is just gonna like fly that guy into the outside of the corner soon. Right. Maybe not immediately, but make it so that if you want to finish that guy off, you're, you're gonna, gonna have take to work. a pounding. Yeah, so. and that's the thing. Like Bryson really can't afford to do that either. No, he can't. Well, we'll see how much damage he takes. I think Cody right now is deciding on whether or not he wants to concentrate fire on dash. Or if he wants to start shipping at Miranda. Who would you go after here, Alan? Ugh. There's no good targets here. I think he's going after... Looks like he's going after Dash. First one evaded. Ooh, hot fire. Takes Ooh, one. So here's one. Looks like he's going after Dash. Yep. Looks like he'll get two TLTs on Dash, I think. Yeah. Now keep in mind that even if Cody has two Sinars versus Miranda in the late game... Because Miranda doesn't have the concussions, it's winnable by the signers. It sure is. Yeah, you can just keep planking her down. Yeah. Miranda can't afford to lose four health a turn. Four health a turn. So. Ouch! Uh, that hurts. And ooh. there we go. That's better. That's a hit. Consistent, right? So there's two shields off a of dash. Two shields for two health off of the the signar. I think you gotta like that. I mean, to be honest, I thought Bryson probably had the better first engagement, but that trade, not bad. Two shields off a dash for shielding the hall off your Sinar? Yeah, I think the only thing right now is that this is an interesting situation because Cody kind of had to shoot dash, but I think his intention is still to take out Miranda when he gets a chance, right? So he might just do a one straight and just go for the same trade and see how fast Miranda comes in. Because if Miranda even does a one bank, she's eating, I think, three TLTs that turn. So the big thing that I see is if it comes down to two Sinars versus 
Miranda. Yeah. Cody will take him on points. Yes, absolutely. Which which puts pressure on Miranda. Right. And same thing, like Cody's gonna cycle, right? He's he's gonna make it so that if there's an injured one, you have to be in that bubble of both. No, he probably can't. Like that's why I think he's gonna do a one straight. I no. think I think those He could just slow roll it. Yeah. Like I know like the Tie Aggressor's a new ship and also let's be honest, no one except Cody really flies them. Ooh, looks like he's going fast. Interesting, interesting. interesting. So he's hoping that maybe Miranda's just gonna sit maybe only be able to shoot one of the back aggressors and then Dash is gonna I, want, I think he's hoping that he's going to get the entire formation on Dash. Robert, we appreciate it. Yeah, that's a good point. Tuneful plays Warcraft 3. Do you play Dota as well? But um, I think I think this is him setting up for the Miranda play. Yeah. I Like, I really do think that I really think that he only shot Dash to kind of make Dash a bit scared, but again, his intention is to nail that Miranda ASAP. Yeah, because the thing is, if you're going after Miranda, you really have to commit to killing Miranda. Yeah. Now, I don't know about not healing number two out. Sorry, which one's which one's the damage one? So I think one is one the is. one with damage on it. And the yeah. one with one's going to get hit. Yeah, he might. Oh, okay. Again, Ooh. Bryson very well played. Bryson knows what's up, right? Like he, he knows that he needs to preserve Miranda. She can't afford to do one bank in and eat multiple TLTs. Because uh, even if she's caught in two TLTs, that could be shields down in one turn. Right. Um, oh, it looks like did Miranda lose health? No, I didn't. It didn't. Sorry, guys. Okay, looks like I didn't see the range. So there's dash into one for four. There's another two going in, it looks like. This is good. So that signer is down to one. That's good for Bryson. He's playing it perfectly. So for those unfamiliar with the tie aggressor dial, it's essentially an X-wing dial. Yep. Alan, did any of the top sixteen? No. Uh, everyone showed up for day two. Dragoon King. Oh yeah, I guess this is the overlay where we actually have to say where the comments come in from, right? YouTube or Twitch, because we've got it aggregated in this chat. We can just say their names. Yeah. I hope so, Cat Dog. It's got a great list. I think he's playing Billy actually this game. Oh no. I think so. More Canadian on Canadian violence. I know. I'm rooting for a bunch of people in this one. Like, we have a lot of great players. Like, I I really want Jamie to do well. I want Duncan to do well, obviously. Uh, Kyle, obviously. I don't even know. It's a really diverse top 16, actually. Um, I don't think that there is Billy, obviously. one list that's repeated. I like the diversity in lists. Um, I think the Nim meta was maybe a bit overstated. Um, I was surprised. Uh, I think a lot of people have teched against Nim. The one thing that I think people are struggling to tech against is uh, Fairship. He yep. seems to do really well consistently, and there's no there's no real answer to it. No. No, I mean, there really isn't. It preserves MOVs so well. Um, and if you fly it carefully, even if you win, it's going to be a slog. <laughs> I'm actually not sure what the split is. Let's see if we can get the lists and go through them. 
I mean, Cody's got to be one of the few, if not only, Imperial players. I don't know. I don't know how many. Um, yeah, I think Cody Interesting. might be the only Imperial player. Our buddies to meet thought that it would be a 4K coming in, but it looks like Cody is preparing to cycle out number one. There is a fair amount of Nim or Biggs in a Wookiee. Uh, there's plenty of Miranda. And yes, Duncan is flying scum. Alien Keeper, Marcel is one classy dude. I played that guy in Swiss. He was tired as hell from his drive up, unfortunately. He had a rough day. Yeah, he had a rough day, and like you could even see on his face, like it wasn't flying his best game, but I mean, he still managed to pull through three, and again, a hell of a classy guy. Autogressors is so interesting to see. Like, it's certainly not my favorite list to fly, but it's just so different seeing Imperials running quad TLT. Okay, so looks like um, Cody's just kind of slowly rolling along. Um, I don't think there's going to be combat. Obviously, they're resetting their dials. I think he might be coming back in. I think he's. I think he is hoping that Miranda kind of feeds her way back towards the middle. I, I kind of wish that Cody had done that 4K so he could just meet her immediately. But yeah. by the time he turns around, I don't know if Miranda will be where he wants her to be. Seen a barrel roll? No. Yeah, so there we go. She's going along the board edge. This is interesting. Very interesting. Okay, here's another play, right? So we've already gone through about 20 minutes. So let's say a quarter of the game through. Yep. If Cody gets half points on dash. So it's 26 on dash, he'd be ahead he of He has point. to lose two Sinars to lose. Right. So he could also be going for that play. Right, and he can't trade dash for two Sinars either. Right. So for Bryson to kill two Sinars, he needs to still have dash left alive. Yes, correct. So I think by the by the look of things, by how Cody is kind of skirting and almost avoiding a fight with Miranda, I feel like he's no longer going for the aggressive no. aggressive Miranda play and in fact he's 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 comfortable with dancing with Dash. He's gotta be right. I mean Dash if he miss if Bryson misplays Dash, yeah, Axel, he'll be able to sink so much damage into Dash so quickly. Axel on YouTube, yeah, that's exactly my point. If he gets half on Dash, he has to lose two. Right. He has to lose two Sinars. If he if he only loses one, he's still good. So do we, I wonder if Bryson's noticed that. Um, because that almost makes you then want to play a little more aggressive with Miranda and preserve half on Dash. To be honest, Cody's like putting him in a bit of a pickle, right? Like, because I don't know what I'd do either in Bryson's situation. I think. You know, I think it doesn't get PS killed too, right? Like, so that's one on one hull. Yeah. It's likely dead. I think one is gonna cycle. Like he's already kind of cycled right now. You have to be in uh, two, but I think he's gonna he's gonna cycle out real soon. Uh, the cut was top sixteen. So we had six rounds of Swiss yesterday, and then cut to top sixteen. I think the play is here for Bryson to be patient. Let Cody exit the rocks so he doesn't get that fourth defensive die. And then 
he needs to try and engage with Miranda and Dash like he did on the first engagement. That first engagement was very favorable for Bryson. If he can repeat that, he can probably pop number one and deal some significant damage to another one. That will put him in the advantage. He's going quick. Yeah. The other so I think he's going to break apart this formation. I hope they're turning in. Oh, what is number two doing is a question. Maybe a one forward? Maybe, yeah. Or two forward or three forward or something. Yep. Two bank, maybe? And a barrel roll? I don't know. Interesting. I'm not sure. I, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Two forward. So. This is a bit of a risk here. I. I think one might get sniped, but at least he's he's controlling the range to the point where he's gonna get that fourth. Um, if he were to engage in that turn, he would have gotten that fourth die. Bryson's considering the barrel roll right now for the snipe. The fourth die could do it. He's only one health. He's gonna he's gonna, he's gonna get his lone wolf reroll, so he's effectively got like one and a half mods. Right. The advantage for Cody here is that no, no yeah, he goes for a safe play. The advantage for Cody here is that yeah, he's keeping Miranda out of the fight. He's trying to avoid an engagement where he has both ships on on one or two isolated. I mean, I think the thing we're going to run into this time is number two now is going to be in an odd spot on that turnaround, unless Bryson just keeps going forward. Um. I think, I think number two is fine. It's probably just going to do one straight, and the other is going to do three bank or something like that. Yeah, top 16 was a pretty steep cut. Yeah. Looks so like we've got about 50 minutes left in the round. Still very up in the air, really even on who has the upper hand right now. Yeah. You have to give credit to Cody for playing the patient game. Yeah. He, like, the thing is, too, is whenever you're playing aggressively against Miranda, you have to... You have to have the control, the self-control, not to be behind her either and chase, because that's where that's when fireworks start happening, right? Right. And you're getting bombs. You have to disengage. You know all this stuff, especially flying through rocks. But so, what do I think is better, right. three Sinar and Omega, or the four Sinar? Four Sinar. I agree. Hands four down. Sinar. The moment you lose that fourth TLT, it just really changes the dynamic of the list. Yeah. Because you have to think about it like this, right? You're almost doubling down, or in this case, quadrupling down, in the sense that if you want to shoot one of those guys, you are taking a pounding from four TLTs. If you lose even one, let's say you're playing yeah. against an ace, and he gets into range one-on-one, -on -one and he has auto thrusters, well, he only has to deal with two TLTs, right? Yeah. But, yeah, and like, you're, like, Omega is probably good as an ace counter, but... I think yeah, let's the, wait low, till wave 13. the low prevalence of aces means that's less of concern. And I think doubling down on TLTs in this low agility meta is probably the way to go. Draken on YouTube, I hear you, man. But again, having played Cody, he's a hell of a player. And I can tell you for a fact that like, if, he you, plays it well. if you put this list in someone else's hands, they would not make a top 16 cut in Nationals. <laughs> Jeremy.
Do we have a release date for Guns for Hire? No. No. Is it even? Sh is it shipping? I think so. Yeah. On the rowboat. Not nah, Jeremy. Uh, okay. It was amazing to see the four Wookies in Commandos list yesterday. <laughs> Jeremy is the best Howard. Do I know you? And also, yeah, that that Wookiee squad is so funny. Is no joke. And if you're flying a low agility ship, it seems like it'd be easy to get behind those things. But when they're running that carousel, you're eating a bunch of uh, three attack dice. Focuses. I man, Bryson is playing this perfectly. Yeah. This is super so he just exciting. sunk another two. What's that? This is super exciting. This is super exciting. Yeah. Well, okay. To be fair, they're flying in a well. full turret matchup. Bath. Yeah. This is like this. This is a textbook case of range maneuvering, control. range control, and patience. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah, smooth. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's easy to do off that list though, because you're right in the sense that like it's pretty. I don't want to say brainless, but like a lot of it is autopilot. You are spamming the too hard, but. Um, but if you screw up with rocks and everything, the moment you have to start rethinking that formation and what it's doing. Yeah. It's not as easy. Yeah, and you do have to manage that carousel. Um, and I think it's really easy. I think it's really easy, like when you, um, what do I say? When you have four ships on the board, yep. but as soon as there's one, as soon as there's two, it's way different. The game is practically over, right? Because yep. you no longer have that carousel. So I think you're right. It's easy in the sense like how to fly it, but I don't know if it's easy to win with it. Yeah, I completely agree. How you actually want to maintain that formation yeah. and actually fly it to winning, I, it's probably not that easy. I've never flown it, but I can't imagine it's the easiest list in the world to fly. I'm, I'm not saying it's nuanced or not. You're, you're saying that it's easy to win with it. It's easy to fly if you win. Yeah, maybe it was an easy win, but if you lose, I don't think it was easy. No. There are plenty of jump masters, tons and tons of them here. In the cup, there's plenty of jump masters too, just like you'd expect. Yeah, Rick Porcius, that's a really good point. Like, you know, I'm on that boat too. Like, I don't like turrets. Like, I don't like cannon bigs, etc. But like, you have to respect a well-flown match, and this is really, really well flown. Yep. Like, I think I think sometimes like the meta hate blinds us to that. Um, these guys are like the most respect I have for right now is the patience by both these players. No one's overcommitting. No one's letting kind of the I don't want to say pressure of the moment because I mean ultimately we are playing a freaking classic spaceship game, but these guys are really, really in control of what they want to do. I mean, Bryson knows that he needs to pick one off, but he and, can't afford to lose three more shields. And number one right now is so protected. The yeah. one on one haul, if he wants to pull this off, he is going to have to basically offer himself up to the full barrage of fire. Yeah, and. In, and Cody has very patiently cycled out number one, right? Like, how are you going to finish off number one without going below half or Miranda potentially exploding in one yeah, turn? You're not. Yes, Robert Monroe. Very, very... He's Robert says almost like two snipers going at each other. Yeah, pretty much. And what's really cool about this list or this, this matchup is the rock placement, right? Like, it's really interesting because not so much for the bumping, but more for you can have a better idea of where the ship's going to be next turn. Like, Miranda, for example, 
you know she's going to round that corner. Right. So Cody could just slow roll it, and Miranda will eventually have to exit that corner. Tim, I don't think he's going for Miranda anymore. I think he's playing the dash game. I don't think he's really chasing either. No. I mean, he's up on dice if it came down to it to final salvo. He's, yeah, exactly. And what he's doing is he's, he's making Bryson come into him, right? Again, number one is so far out of reach. Bryson's in a bit of a pickle. Not, not immediately, but I think like strategically, he, he has some tough decisions ahead of him. Hmm. I don't think he's out of formation, guys. I think he's perfectly in formation. I think he's doing what he wants to do. Yeah. That might be out of formation. Uh, looks clean. No, I think he's perfectly in formation. I do not have the name of everyone in the top 16 in front of me. Yeah, John, it's probably posted somewhere on Facebook. Um, unfortunately, yeah, we can't really read them out right now. Travis is on it. Huge props to our man Travis and Victor, who are the guys behind the overlay and the setup I mean we're just here talking yeah not bad at all yeah we, we're doing the easy bit those guys did all the hard work so huge props to those guys so again we're gonna see one ship oh, oh. playing a little more aggressive here I I don't think I like that that's oh man well, he is Ray Banks, which is good. But if he spends it on offense, he might lose two health there. So he's helping to basically put all this fire on number two. Yeah. Which is good. I think it's the only move Bryson could have done. I think he needs to start playing aggressively, which is what I meant by, like, he has that tough decision ahead of him. But that rock is between them. Again, Cody is playing this perfectly. He might. Oh, shit. So I think Miranda's going to be eating at least two shots. So two and three, I think, have range on Miranda. Well, Bryson better hope that number three doesn't have a shot on Dash. Right? Right. So that's TLT. Probably into number two. Ooh. Oh, no. He's regening. I think he should focus. I think he needs to preserve. I, I think this is going to be a game of attrition. Does he focus? No, he takes it. I'm actually not sure why he rolled that third die. Uh, he reduced the two. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. It's a good nope. damage. But yeah, a good point. HLC. Does he have one wolf? He doesn't. No. So three hits, it looks like. Oh my lord. He's gotta focus that. Mitigate that. Yeah, he's gotta. And this is why aggressors are so nasty. Yep. If your defense die, you just start throwing paint, you can soak up so many hits. Lose the shield, right? He lost the shield. Number uh, two. Yeah, I don't think he got the third die either. Who's he shooting at? So did Miranda not take any damage from the first one? First salvo? Yeah, no, I think he did take one from the first salvo. I don't know what the shield count is actually on Miranda. Miranda should have some shields left. I just don't know how much. Mm. 
Yeah, guys, we're just getting a quick update on the shield status for Miranda. I think, yeah, she took two from the first TLT. She's... She shield down? Oh, Lord. Yeah. All right. It's Cody's game right now. Oh. He just needs to do a one straight with a back three. Then it's fine. And maybe all he of them. He should be able to toast Miranda. I don't know what Miranda does in this situation. Yeah. Defcon Zero says Miranda's in such a bad place right now. Couldn't agree more. I think Cody played it perfectly. Robert, um, maybe. Again, they have X-Wing Dial, so they can all just do one straight, and he'll be in good position still. Yep, which is all I would do. Yeah. I mean, if you really wanted to, he could one bank in with a back three. Um, hell, number one might even do it too hard and barrel roll out. Yeah, for really, Cody, I don't think I would overthink this. Miranda's in a tough spot. If she's, in, if she's in range of three TLTs, game could be over. Yep. And it's going to be hard to not be in the range of three TLTs. Yeah. Rick says, I think Miranda's best option is to slam bump into the aggressors and pray to live. That's not bad. I think if he could do... If he, if he wants to do a crazy gamble, he could do a two... Slam drop, drop a bomb? Two or three bank. I don't... Yeah, three might clip. But two and then like cluster be in range one out of arc and bumping one or two, that might be his best option. But he definitely can't afford to be in CLT range of three. Yeah, Axel, Axel on YouTube says if Miranda does two bank right, then slam two forward. Yeah, that might be his best move, but Cody being the hella good player. He's gonna know this. Yeah, I think he's That's so he's easy to block. This. And still have them hanging just for shots. Uh, all right. Well, that doesn't block the two bank. I think he's planning but for Miranda peeling out to the left, is my guess. Right. Okay. Yep. So just one forwards, I think, from here. Yeah. He may bank in one just to keep himself further spread apart. I'm curious what he does with one. I wonder if one is doing the one straight or if it's doing the two hard out. Uh, this is a good idea. I mean, this is, I think is... Greg on YouTube, yes. She has not spent anything. Okay, here we go. Hold on to your nuts. Uh. Oh. Man, I don't know. I think that this is the time where I would have tried to kill one, to be honest with Dash. Maybe. Because he's gonna ha he's gonna go after Miranda. Maybe, but if he had turned in next turn he would have been in a real tough position. So I think Dash's move that was that was Dash's only move. Yeah, Miranda's host. Yep. So Miranda might PS kill number one. That's about it. And then he's going to lose Miranda. If I'm Miranda, I would drop those bombs right now. Because he's she's he not going to well. use them. She's not going to use them. <laughs> you might as well. That Like, no slam maneuver is going to save her. No. No, you can't slam out of this. So, okay. So, realistically, if he drops bomb... He can TLT for regen and pray five. to God to kill number one. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, I mean, that's really what I would be hoping to do, is pray, drop some bombs. Yeah, pray to God to number one, and then on the six TLT shots coming from the remainders, hope that just he sucks. survives one, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. He just needs to survive one. Uh, sure. I think I, I would just kill number one, who's I, only on one hole. I wouldn't be, yeah, I would not be as kill number two. You're risking, because he has a focus, right? 
so he didn't drop the bomb. I would have dropped bombs. I agree. You have Sabine. Uh, creates a huge lane of if you go near this. Uh, but maybe, but maybe he's going for the focus to for the defense, right? That, so that, the focus could be the one. So this will be two. Or yeah. So first shot to see if he kills him, and then second shot. Ouch! That sucks. Oh. And there that is. So there's one of aid. He, I should have regen the first shot. And there it is. Safe. Miranda's dead. Did he not regen? No. No, he didn't regen. Lone Wolf. We need that. But that's not going to save Miranda. Spend the focus? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Takes two. Down to two hall and number two. Yeah. Ouch. Hmm. He should have regen. I don't think he did regen. I thought he threw three and three yeah, twice. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, he might actually survive this. This is incredible. He still has the focus, and he's got the rock blocking him on, what, three of the TLT shots? Yeah. This There's is, a shot. This is survivable. That's not survivable. He's got a spin. Yeah. He must have regen. You think so? I think I saw a shield get pulled off versus a damage card. Oh, okay. So that's one? Joe, can you, can you check the status, the health status on Miranda after this round, if she's still alive? Oh, I think Miranda's gonna live. Yeah, after this, after this round, see what her health is. Thanks. Nope, there goes Miranda. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh. This is tough, man. Um, Esberto Glio. What was the right move with Miranda if not bomb? Is target lock at number one? Um, definitely focus over target lock because you're getting two defense dice, and so that could have saved her one. I do think. I think his dice just crapped out on him, right? He I mean, like, really not needed the... to kill number one. Yeah, exactly. He really needed to kill number one. So I, I think focus was actually the right move to save for defense. I didn't realize how many shots that uh, were, were obstructed there. But so Dash now has to kill. He has to kill three. There are thirty minutes in the round. I know. Three he has to kill and three minutes. in thirty minutes. Some are hurting though. If Two he loses really three shields. Up. Yeah, but. Oh Cody, no! This is not good. Cody's gonna peel them. Yeah. No. Yeah. There we this go. This is not good. There goes number two. Number three is gonna come in, probably. I mean, I guess the big thing is, is if he can manage to kill one this round, he's got, um, because he's going to have to move, Cody's going to have to move four and one to the far side of the rock. <laughs> Unless he just wants to run it over a rock. Rick, I like your, I like your mentality. What, you think he's going to hit the rock? No. No, I hope it's fine. I think that would have been a dumb idea, but... What do you think He's those tattoos? Over, right? What do you think those tattoos stand for? Number of store championships he's won. I mean, that'd be pretty hard if that was it. I'd really do it. Cody's probably won a few. I would imagine so. Yeah. I was talking to his buddy outside yesterday. I think his name was Nick. And he was <laughs> he was saying that he never beats Cody. And the first time he won, he like threw a goddamn celebration. 
Could be number of Mirandas he's killed, definitely. Could be, yeah. All right, guys, in chat, what do you think Cody's tattoo, what was it, seven or eight? I what do you think seven. it's account for? What do you guys think? TLT is so OP, wouldn't complain if FFG gave range 3 defense bonus on turrets and cannons now. It's honestly just that you're not seeing a lot of auto thrusters running around now, too. Yes. Bombs have really pushed out auto thrusters and the light aces. Yes. So your natural defense to TLTs, you don't see around right now. Correct. That's why we see so many turrets in general. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Deviants, it's, you know, I'm not a huge fan of this meta either, but, I mean, the argument could be made that it still is a rock, paper, scissors situation. Because if someone did show up with two, let's say, like, Fen, right? Like, one Fen could probably take out, like, three of these aggressors alone, so you never know. Oh, yeah, like an Inquisitor or something like that that yep. can't get bombed off the table. Yeah, Robert, you're absolutely right, you know. He has nothing to lose at this point. He needs to try and isolate, but... Yeah, is he a phantom player, Robert? Oh, it helps a lot, Brecken. Uh, yeah, I completely disagree. Auto thrusters helps a lot against TLTs. Yeah, because you're assuming the ace is... You're assuming the ace is getting shot at by all four, but if you're boosting in, you're probably only getting shot by like two. And auto thrust is just giving you a free evade each time. And I would say if you're playing a repositional ace, the point's not to get shot by the entire formation to begin with. Yeah. In fact, auto thrust is the only solution to quad TLT, I'd argue, other than ordnance. Yeah. And by ordinance, exactly. I mean like missiles, yeah. Yep, but, like an alpha. Yeah. Um, or yeah. Yeah. Higher PS repositioning. Yeah, granted, right. granted, I, I flew alpha against Cody and I just With got no destroyed auto because I didn't have auto thrusters and Vader was just. Vader was just eating it. <laughs> I really like the. <laughs> Number of attacks you get as four TLT Toglio. ships each round. Yeah. <laughs> Was it eight? Is that what you said? I think it's seven. Oh man, I hope they got it to eight. Please be eight. Yes. Tim says patience is a big part of the strategy. Cody has run a master class here on patience information flying. Couldn't agree more. I think. I think the misunderstanding with Quad TLT is that it's an e -list, easy list to fly, and it is in a sense, but I think it's an it's hard to do really well with exactly. is the thing. I think it has a low f skill floor, but very high skill ceiling. And I know that's what people are saying that are flying these aggressors are really happy with. Is that barrel roll? Yes. It's apparently all of the difference. Yeah. Um, because with Y-Wings, where you do just kind of putt around, you get a reposition with an aggressor if you want to. And yeah. it really does change the way you can fly with them. I have to say, I wonder how this match would have gone had Miranda had a concussion missile or something. A lot different. Yeah. Right? He, like, the engagement would have been completely different. Because those clusters are, you know, super risky to use, right? Like, you practically have to just accept the fact that you're never going to get those off against this, this squad. It'll actually be interesting to see if the advanced, if and when the advanced slam nerf does eventually happen. This list with the missile... Still a great list. Yeah. Yep. I hope he could pack down more than seven hot dogs in a single sitting. What do you mean? Well, like we've with got the, the question bun? for real though, the tattoo is most hot dogs he's eaten in one sitting. Wait, yeah. but with the with the bun? Yeah. You don't think seven's a lot? I mean I think I could easily do more than seven. What's the world record? A, a the Japanese lot. guy, right? But yeah. I, I guess they're not eating the bun. You just dunk them in water when you're doing like the contest. You do eat the bun. 
What do you think the life expectancy is of those guys? Not super great. Like 20? I mean, like, I hope you have free health care. <laughs> My question is, is like, what does their poop look like the oh, next morning, right? It can't be good. Like, is it in the shape of just one long-ass hot dog? I mean, maybe. But I think if there's ever a time people should be saying, Duncan, save me, instead of doing the natty thing, um, <laughs> that might be the time you want to say, Duncan, save me. Okay, guys, it definitely isn't over, actually. No, uh, but Cody has been flying this extremely well. Right, but um, once Arner's out, another one's going to die soon. If Cody's dies, don't... Okay. That variance is big, right? It I mean, is, that's yeah. really what you're going with. Can your dice bail you out enough of these heavy shit shots that you're taking back? And Lone Wolf is going to trigger a ton. So here, for example, he might get it. Nope, he doesn't. So there we go. 73 and a half hot dogs and buns in 15 minutes. And buns? Yeah. What do you mean, in half? Well, it means he probably got half a hot dog down and... That should just be excluded. No, it's, it's 73. It means he didn't finish the 74th. In like 15 minutes? God damn. So that's... Nothing good is about Michigan, Zach Matthews. Go Buckeyes. <laughs> yeah, we should mention that uh, Moss here is an American. We've only recently accepted him. Yeah. Are you a permanent resident or are you I am. a full citizen? Yeah, I'm a permanent resident. I'm going nowhere. <laughs> Good to know Zach Matthews. Says Cody was number one in Swiss at the Crossroads Classic, September 14th, or 24th is his day. Honestly, Quad TLTs has some fantastic matchups in the rest of Swiss. Yes. I mean, it is a list that if he flies it like this throughout the day, it's really good. Yeah, and I mean, I don't want to say it's a it's refreshing because like it's you don't see it that a, often it's CLT, but it's hell refreshing to see the Sinar variant right and yeah. especially flown like this with this patience with this um, I don't want to say range control but like I don't know he's just, he's just playing it perfectly I think anyone trying to learn this list this is probably like go watch this game yeah the first game you should watch damage on dash. I think that's an accurate showing on dash. So he's out on one. Man, look at that. There's it four dice again. He takes it. Hmm. He wants to sink damage back in on dash. Yeah. I don't know, though. I think he needs to start preserving. There's still 20 minutes. He could easily lose one and then just have the other pop. Lone Wolf. Yeah, this guys, this game isn't over, I have to say. Lone Wolf is going to do a lot of work here. We have to imagine that number one is going to get PS killed at some point. Unless he does a four straight or something. Right, and Cody really needs to make sure he's putting at least two TLTs on dash. Yes. So he can only play so... Oh, there's a play here. Dash could do a four straight if he gets past that rock and barrel and negate the TLTs and finish off number one. Yeah. There's a play here. For sure. Yeah, Cody's... Um, oh, that'd be so ballsy. I wonder if he sees it. I can't tell if you get past that rock. It's hard to see where it ends. I don't know if a four straight would get past it. But I think that's Bryson's best move if he could, if he could get past it. 
No, Dash can't shoot range one, but like, assuming that, assuming that Cody doesn't do a one straight or something like that. So he's just gonna do a carousel, which is actually kind of risky. He might be if, putting... If Dash goes straight, that's range one. Right. Smart. Yep. Yep. I think Cody sees it. He sees yeah, that's the on risk. An angle, for sure. So yeah. Oh, he's peeling. Go for the PS kill. Might Barrel get the four dice in. To oh. put yourself in range one at number four. So you're not getting TLT. Yeah, but then you eat. What? Eat three or four dice? Yeah. Three dice. Three dice. Yeah. Does he have Ray is a question. I don't know how much focus he has banked. Looks like he has at least one. Alright. I think he just shot himself outside of range of number one. So you can see what he's, what is obstructed and what is not. I think I would try to kill one if he's in range. I don't think he's in range number one. Oh, that's a good roll for the lone wolf. Maybe he doesn't need to spend the focus. Tough call, he spends it. Three dice, the unobstructed one. Ooh. Takes two if he spends, or he takes three. Super risky. Oh, he spent the focus. This could be big. Dash could go down. I think Cody's thinking about just soaking the damage, saving the focus for the kill right now and ending it here. Yeah, he's taking both. Oh, three. So he didn't spend the focus. Didn't spend the focus. He's going for it right here. Wow, this is risky. Yeah, this is ball. Oh, worth it. Focus. That's one. He needs these. Nope. Oh my lord. Ooh. Oh man. Oh man. Dash is tanky with Lone Wolf. Yeah. Hey, remember that conversation about auto thrusters? <laughs> exactly. It's not even lone wolf, it's half a lone wolf. That's out, I think. Which is the only reason why one didn't get shot to begin with. Right. He's in a... This is a weird situation. I know. This is actually going to be really, really close. Well, you have to remember, it's green dice with a focus and a reroll. Right? So the person saying those green dice, they're heavily modded. Yeah. Okay, guys. Like, the easiest way to think about it is he get he, currently Dash with Moon Wolf has half an auto thrusters. Or a third of one, if you want to be specific. And that rock, that rock was was absolutely necessary because that gives him an additional die to Lone Wolf if he needs to. Right. Yeah, yeah I mean, it put the other two, T or one of the TLTs coming into him obstructed, which gives you some fantastic defense against TLTs. This will be interesting. So four's coming in, three's out. If Dash turns down towards the board, he might isolate number four. Yeah, Deviant, you're right, but it's just the fact that if he needed it, right? I think he has four isolated. This could be bad. Oh, yeah, I think he does. Oh, my lord. Ooh, so that was an insane... Oh. 
And there it is. That's it, folks. So number four is dead with Natty's. <laughs> and, uh... And then now he can PS kill one. Oh, boy. 13 minutes remaining. Oh, boy. This just got really interesting. So, I think Cody runs with number one. <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah, I do too. You run with number one and you jam number three in there. I don't disagree. Yeah. I just like the frankness on, I think you run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The problem is, though, is that number three is likely not going to be shooting with number one ever. So Dash will be laying in pretty good damage on three. But I do agree. I mean, I'd say you run with one and engage with three and see how it goes. And just see where it ends up. And a one you on, can't a give one, one up right now. A one-on-one -on -one chess match is really interesting because... This is going to be low haul. Yeah... Oh, oh, man. Okay, this is fine. There's no way that Dash can shoot number one without being shot at by number three. That Imperial pilot did have a family. You know, only being a CNR pilot, being PS1, he probably doesn't get paid super well either. <laughs> that income's going to be missed. <laughs> Father of four. Yeah. Folks, no, he's gone. All right. He needs these. That's one. Got to so spend one. it. He needs this. Bad. Two. All right. This is where we see Ooh. Logo. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Oh wow, so it's a one haul dash. Alright. So. This is crazy close. I think Bryson runs now. Yeah. I think he barrel rolls constantly into range one. This is crazy though. For a game that you would look like on stream that people would typically bemoan a dash Miranda versus a quad TLT, this has been a hell of a good game. Yeah. Uh, no, he double blanked, and the other guy got, and Cody got two. Yeah, it didn't matter, Rick, because uh, it was TLT. So as long as he takes a hit, he just takes one damage. So. crazy. I mean, what do you think you do here, Alan? Do you bump? Do you go for a bump, basically, and then just run? If I were Dash, I would just do, like, a three straight for this turn. I think three straight's the obvious one. Like, there's there's nowhere that... Well, hopefully you didn't do a one straight. Did you just do one straight? Okay. I stand corrected. Maybe a four straight. Just go for the bump. B range one. That's what he's got to do. Yeah, four straight. Oh no, please, please bump. It's not an arc, I think. Yeah, but he. Yeah, true. That's a good move. That is a good move. So we're going to expect a three bank or three hard barrel roll next turn from Dash. There's nine minutes on the clock. 
pressure's on Cody now. Good move. Yeah. Rock's going to play a big, big thing here. Bryson will want to utilize them. Yeah. Dash is gone for this round, at least. There's a three bank. has the distance. Um, Defcon, I think you're right. The only thing is Cody has to he be has in the center the of the board because mm -hmm. he can't commit. Because if he, if he, it's a 50-50. If he guesses one wrong turn and Dash goes the other way, the game is over. Because Bryson knows he's going to three hard here, so he's just going to go the other way. Yeah, here comes the three hard. Um, he's going to drop him in the corner soon. I the can't thing is, he's also getting to uh, restack, regen his ray. That's true. Right? Like, I mean, unless he's barrel rolling and he just didn't. Yeah. Like, he's sitting to slowly bank a little more ray back. He'll for sure have multiple focuses for defense now. Yeah, I agree. He gets the chance to target lock dash. He should target lock dash. You think so? Um, yeah. Yeah, I do. With one hall left, I do. That's true. He's got four, yeah. Gonna three bank again. All right, so next turn there's gonna be action, unless Bryson figures out a way. No, it's gonna be a three hard. I wonder if Dash K turns here. Yeah. But if K turns, it makes his next move super predictable, so maybe not. He might just three bank. Still always has a focus he can call up, though, now with Bray. Yeah. Sure. Oh, this is really interesting. Down to six minutes. No, I think there will be another round of shooting. I don't know if he's going to be able to run for six minutes. This was push dash? <laughs> All day. thinking about barrel rolling out. Thinks it might be in range. I think obstructed. It'd be obstructed if they have range, but I don't think they have range. Oh yeah, so they're out. Hmm. So this is actually kind of interesting. So Dash has to be tricky here. Dash basically would either need to... Well, Dash would need to range one and put himself out of arc. I think for Cody... Cody's going to... He's Cody has to basically pick a direction on this. Is he going down or up? I think he'd go... Oh, that's rough. I mean, if Cody really wants it, he could just do a freaking one straight. That... Uh, it's always tough to tell a perspective on this. One might put him on a rock. He's going down. He better hope to God that Dash, Dash can do one, one hard. hard barrel roll out. Right. Man, that's actually not a bad move either. It's a very dashy thing to do. I think he's got him. Obstructed, maybe. For both of them. All right. All right, so here comes that second focus, and here comes a shot. Bryson wants it to be obstructed, which it might be hard to say. Bone Wolf. Oof. 
this is big. Even if it, for, yeah, Oof. it just forces him to spend the focus. That alone is big. So he's either gonna take three. This, this is a brutal. What would you do here? I think you've got really realistically one chance. I'd take it and yeah, take uh, it. keep your focus for offense. You All just right. need to do one. All right, here we go, boys. Two. Two spends a focus. He's safe. Spends a focus for two. Oh. And spends a focus for two. That, I think, might have been game. I think the game <laughs> is over, boys. Uh, so here comes a PS Keller just run. Yeah. He's probably still got Ray Bank. for a whiff. Yeah. I wonder if he's got a Ray banked. He should. Because, man, if he, he does, should. that's... Yeah. yeah. He okay, so here on. comes Ray. Oof. <laughs> Oof. But, still got three defense dice. Oh, Oof. never mind. Good game. Never mind. There's game. Wow. That was a hell of a game, guys.